Get off my balloon, you damn dirty apes. It looks like the hat that they're being hung from that balloon. I wasn't going to say it. That's it's dark, little, that's man. That's dark. Hi, Sheila. All right, let's go do a boss fight. We like those, right? So, you have to... Jesus. It's a reference to Spyro 1. Yeah, but that, that was awkward to get into. Look, Spyro has double jumping. We, can't, we don't learn it from being born. Bianca strikes back. <gasps> oh, oh, no. What dramatic thing could happen in this cutscene? I bet in Japan that cutscene was called Bianca's Counter-Attack. With like two exclamation points? Is that... Please tell me that that's a Star Wars thing. No, she's, I, I noticed in Japan, instead of the phrase strikes back, oh, okay. they for counter-attack. So like, Pokemon the first movie. In, uh, in England, the title is Mewtwo Strikes Back. In Japan, it's Mewtwo's counter-attack. Okay. So I guess that they just preferred that, that coin of phrase is, is versus Wars strikes back. I've never looked into that. Maybe, possibly. Okay. Look into that now. Yes, sir. Do as I say. Google monkey, do the work. Stop calling people monkeys, Chris. Google Duke Nukem, do the work. <laughs> Google Duke Nukem Jr. My fingers are too big for the keyboard. <laughs> Your fingers are too fat. Duke Nukem Jr., come Google for me. Fuck you, Dave, I won't do it. Oh no, Sergeant Bird is locked up. That's an angry button. Oh, that's an angry button. <laughs> God, this thing's ugly. These models, good lord. That one's really bad. The rest of them are fine. That one. Ooh. So, we have to leave the first world to get to the first boss fight. Uh -huh. That's weird. The first boss isn't even made until we left the first world. Hmm. Oh, here he is. Oh, why, why would... Oh, Welcome wait. to hell. Oh, look what I stand in there. Uh, you know, it's we like, left you in the balloon. How were you here before us? They just had a friendly, <laughs> they had a friendly chat up till now. It's, it's fine. Heck. So, this is the boss fight. Oh, so this is this is just the um, the golem fight from uh, Standoff with Act One. Yes, actually. Okay. Well, you know, what? Uh, I again, um, unlike Spiral One, these are actual boss fights. Yeah. And unlike Spiral Two, Spiral is actually attacking the boss himself. So I'll, I'll, that's points for that. You don't get to deal with the damage though. What about? I mean, like so much of Spiral Two, like when you fight the first boss, you just avoid an attack until he hit, hits himself. At least in this one, you're actively knocking him into the thing. Yeah. Compared, right, to, like, compared to like Metalhead in Sparrow 1. Hmm. I think it's the same. What? The Empire Strikes Back? I can't, find oh. any, I can't find anything to the contrary. Okay. I forgot, I, I forgot what you were looking up there for a second. It's like, yeah. okay, I got it. I was like, is this a Billy and Mandy thing? What's he doing? Whoa, whoa. Nice. Spawn just cracked his head open. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not dealing with this. You got this, Kangaroo. I think it reminds me of. What's that Pokemon? The Dolphan? Don Fan? Don Fan? It's like, again, in, in Mewtwo Strikes Back when he fights the Bulbasaur. It just spins like that. Then does. And it looks like that. Because it's, it's the same thing. It's the same, it's the same thing. thing. We're three seconds from someone who might. Why didn't he reference Sonic with that? Sonic spins. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> you think he would have thought of Sonic? What no. that noise? Fuck you. <laughs> Get him shields. Nice. Get well, him. Uh, we're doing it. Think again. He spins. Oh no! Get him, saxophone kangaroo. Chris <laughs> only had one hit left. Uh, actually, I have two. If you consider. Oh. The one that doesn't include the dragonfly's existence. So, Chris, on the whole, would you say Insomniac, in, in context of the original Spiral Trilogy, would you say they do good boss fights? Because I would say no. In terms of all three? Yeah, because I, I think... Uh, I'd say they're fine. Well, Spiral 1 is terrible boss fights. Yeah. Spiral 2 has three, and I think... Ripto is the one that, I mean, uh, Ripto is a tough boy. The boss fights in Spiral Two function like boss fights, unlike in Spiral One. So I give him props for that. They're all but I, they, I, I love that they're very good boss fights. Ripto, Ripto is somewhat challenging, so I'll, I'll give him points for that. It's a bit annoying, but it's challenging. But 
like that boss fight that was just tedious like if, if there were more if there were more fights in three i would say that one there would seem fine but it's like one of a few so it stands out more for its difficulty and stuff i'd say the next one i remember being kind of difficult shout out to sonic hyphen one number hey, score three yeah i thought i'd turn that off but i guess i did not hey, get back baby. online you have more <laughs> hashtag gaming to do get your ass back here uh, I'm back to taunt you, I guess. Kill her! To survive longer than I expect. What are you doing? Kill her! Oh, oh she got away. This <laughs> <laughs> boat just ran into the wall. Couldn't do a thing about 1995, it. 1995, that was a good year. This hover always great music. Oh. We can't hear it, but okay. 2017, it was not a good year. Got it memorized. 2031. That's a King of Hearts man. TJ is dead by then. 2045, free player one! Hey! Thank you, Steven Spielberg, who has never made a bad thing ever. Steven Spielberg. Knocked it out of the park once again. Who put Spyro in my movie? <laughs> is Knack in Ready Player One? Read this article to find out. No game explained, I won't. Short answer, no. Oh, no, Long answer, also no. <laughs> if Knack had been in that movie, I probably would have went and watched it as a movie. I hate you, Chris. Do it for the meme! But, but Knack the brand is not represented in that movie, so it does not represent my child of the nostalgia. I hate you a lot. Didn't that game just come out like four years ago? I, uh, I have a short memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found Dave. <laughs> then he drowns. <laughs> I'm here to crack the eggs, not to save their lives. We should. We should want to eat them. Hunter give that's like his tail's on fire because it's a bad resolution. Which really world is this? This is uh, Midday Garden. The second one. Isn't that the name of the first level in Knuckles Chaotix? Midtown Garden? Or Midnight Garden? Uptown Funk? Uptown. Hey, Uptown Girl! If we hit that dude up there. Why don't you spit? I want to watch you spit. Why don't you spiral? spit this thing that I literally pulled from my crotch? This thing's only been up my butt. Here, let me, <laughs> let me take this thing out of my non pockets and put this on the ground. <laughs> now eat it, bitch. <laughs> eat it. Slowly. I'll, see, I'll see you in there later. Well, maybe not. But I might die first. Fire crotch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last fashion accessory of 2018. Just straight, just straight open flames <laughs> on, on, on your on your crotch. Get him, Spiro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Spiro the Space Moose. <laughs> Spiro the Space Moose. I'd play that. That is from Ratchet I'd play that team. for a dollar. <laughs> That's what I want on a remake of Rocky and Booby Cool, but it's Rocky and Spiro the Space Moose. They can be there now. Did you guys ever see the Rocky and Booby Cool live action movie? Yeah, it was terrible. Oh, oh, I love that long movie. Time oh, TJ, I hate your existence. <laughs> I just like Rocky Bullwinkle. I, yeah, you'll eat anything up from that brand. I, I mean, honestly, so my the my least favorite part of uh, when I went to Florida was um, finding out that they replaced the Rocky Bullwinkle store with um, Secret what? Life of Pets. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I was just like, Rocky Bullwinkle are a classic. Like, yeah, you... but they, they had, that movie was the last time they had any type of relevance in the public eye. And that movie was like 20 years ago. That get over, over it. it was a long time ago. No, I'm not gonna get over it. Rocky and Bullwinkle are awesome. They're pretty, uh, straight edge. <laughs> I always liked Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're right, I didn't. I, I had, got a, I had a fondness for them. They were, they were back around <laughs> to the movie. I remember watching the movie and thinking, like, some of the, their stuff about being, like, you know, full, full breaking and all that stuff was... They are the best part of that movie. Like Rob, like Robert De Niro, like uh, you're like you talking to me. He's terrible. Jason, <laughs> Jason Alexander is not really good in that movie. He's in that movie. Yeah, he and, plays. He played Boris. And when I, uh, when I Wilson, Wilson, when I Russo, she plays the Natasha. Natasha. Wait, Jason Alexander plays Boris. So one of the two villains. Yes. yes. So in in the after Rock Seinfeld, he went on to the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie. So they, they put they put a cart like a 3D cartoon version of Rocky and Bullwinkle 
in like the human world, and then the and then all were... of the yes, all of the human characters were played by real actors. I remember that. I just didn't remember that it was him specifically. Yeah. Wow. All right, I gotta watch this now. <laughs> I like I like how they added Fearless Leader in the movie, but I, I don't think I'm not sure he was ever like shown in the actual cartoon. Oh, he wasn't. I don't think so. I thought they still did it with like um, Inspector Gadget. They would show us Claw. Oh my god! I, and even, don't don't have Claw just be like a boring looking skinny white guy. Even as a kid, I was like, that's not Claw. Why? And his voice sucked. Hello, I'm, I'm Mr. Claw. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even like attempt to give him like the voiceover. Like there was no because you knew who Claw was from the beginning, so there was no like because he worked at Claw Industries. <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, it's Claw Incorporated. I'm surprised they didn't have a joke. Where like it started off and he's like, oh gadget, and then, like technology uh, uh, malfunctions and he's like, oh no, my real voice. No, the other thing was like, oh gadget, uh, 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 he spits up a hello, hello. I'm Doctor Claw, Mod <laughs> modesty. Uh, um. Apparently, in the straight to DVD, the gadget two oh. starring French Stewart. Even as a kid, I hated that one. Apparently, Doctor Claw is like they treat him like in the cartoon, like you don't see his face. I think that's right. Why are you squinting at? <laughs> it's not even that bright. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't remember that? That was from. I think that was from Family Guy. I think that was early Family Guy. Oh, well, about French Stewart. Yeah, when something, they say something about French Stewart, <laughs> and then someone goes, "What are you always <laughs> squinting for? It's not even that bright out." One of my favorite random Family Guy funny moments like that <laughs> is we go to like we now return to two and a half men. And it's like two guys, and like a guy's been cut in half, and they're all just screaming. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that's, that's a good game. <laughs> or like when they go, we now return to Malcolm in the middle, and it's just like the mother's like screaming, and then the how, voiced by Brian Cranston, like knocks her out, goes, "Boys, we're free." <laughs> and they just live and walk out the house together. <laughs> apparently, apparently they asked they asked the mother to do that. But she was like, uh, in, in her in her own words, she tried very hard to not make Lois too unlikable on that show. <laughs> but I guess she didn't do very well because no one liked her on that show. Yeah. But Brian Cranston was like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll murder my wife on, on the uh, on the funny cartoons. I guess it never clicked for me that that was actually him doing that voice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he only has like two lines. But yeah. Um. <laughs> the other one that I, the other Family Guy funny moment that I thought of. I can't believe we're talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> <That's pretty. laughs> There's that episode where, I uh, where, where um, I, I can't remember, like, it was something about Meg, and Peter goes, he goes, I don't miss a thing. And then he just turns to Steve and goes, oh crap, a horse black. He never turned the Star Trek. Holy crap, a horse black. <laughs> what a dumb joke. Oh my god. In all fairness, Star Trek came first. <laughs> Daddy loves you, but Daddy also loves Star Trek. Where are we at on time? Uh, 13 minutes. Let's go back to the first Hub World. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to a new game. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to play Spyro 1? I'll remember the Desert level this time. No. Oh. oh. But we're going we're gonna to redo this when the HD comes out, right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do one of them. I'm sick of you always going to play Spyro. Yeah, I wanna play Spyro. Okay, you guys, you guys can. Play you have a record software. You can't do nothing, DJ. <laughs> it's true. Let's go to the Crawdad Farm. Why did I say that? Even if he did, it'd probably take you seven years without watching Clank audio. Guys, I can't find the record button. All right, Doug Walker, calm it down. <laughs> please, please come and use our microphones to record my audio. It took me a second, like, oh, right, right. I'm so glad that channel is imploded on, on itself. Did you die? I failed the tutorial. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. You should have tried to shoot him, like I told you. So these, so these, this kind of top-down perspective in the GBA games, or maybe just the first one, season Spiral Season of Ice. Uh -huh. There was a spark that was like, like this in every single world. And honestly, they're, they're some of the most fun levels in that, game. in that game. I might need to check that out. I went 100 percent in that game in my youth because I'm an idiot. I've never touched it. I haven't played. I never played the sequel, Season of Flame. Flames. Oh, there's one Scorpion. Oh, that was the sequel. Two yeah. I always thought that was like a Pokemon kind of deal. No, no, no. That was the 
That was the, the Spyro Crash crossover. Uh, that that was like it's like the two halves of the same game. Uh, apparently, one big dump fire in the middle. Is it, is it bad? Is that bad game? I've heard it's pretty pretty bad. Like pretty pretty bad. Are, are, are there no gems in this level? Uh, there are some. We're just in a tutorial. I'll watch it. Good job, Sparks. You exist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there they are. Thank God. Got them. Whew. Literally. Oh, God. Now they're moving. I don't like this. Oh, now, now they have free will. Double one. Go, 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 Bob. Alright, bitch, you want to try harder to make something Ooh, better. Jesus. Uh, oh, crap. So we're just going to decimate him. <laughs> Sparks is Toho now. It's fine. Toho? Toho? Oh. Uh, Kabuterimon? <laughs> the red key opens the red door. Go oh no! Go to the red door. Jesus. Jesus. It's not nice to the other side to the side. Oh wow! Chris! That's the theme of Spyro. That's about enough out of you. <laughs> Everything's really dark in Spyro. All right, David T. Christopher. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> but this this time at KFC with Danica Patrick. <laughs> no, no. You could get sick from eating dragon chicken. <laughs> you could get sick from eating giant chicken. <laughs> Spyro's dragon juices. No, oh, no. Covered in the hotel room. Let's let's not relive that nightmare. Oh, okay. I wish I had a map in the stage. Way to go, Chris. Thank you. Green key opens the green door. The green key opens the green door, which leads to the yellow. Can you kill that thing? Yeah. I don't think so. Fuck you, TJ, I can't. Well, you hit it a bunch you and You know do nothing, TJ, about anything of anything. Yeah, I do. You're just a fake I know which characters would be which gold or which ninja turtle. <laughs> you need to change your mind like a no good moron. Words hurt. <laughs> Actually, like a big nerd, I've rethought this uh, hypothetical <laughs> situation. Now, um, here's my updated answer. The rule Raphael. Because I like the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Sparks do this shit in like, the actual levels? Yeah. Pull some weight, guy. Don't be a TJ in this situation. <laughs> literally, I mean, literally Boris, less than worthless. Oh, the Tarantula. Fight discussion. Oh, see the people. <laughs> when did TJ become PJ from Goop Ah, I don't know. I don't know, man, Magellan. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite line in an extremely goofy movie. I don't know, man, there's Magellan. Well, he's in the bathroom. Anyway. I'll have to edit, edit that out. <laughs> I'll let you out. If I ever beat him, uh, that, that's the one thing. Will Yeah, I'm gonna get him to say, I don't know, man, but who do I look like? Jelly? Crack <laughs> <Like, laughs> off, man! I got a biscotti and I'm not afraid to use it! I like how without, without you having to say that, like, <laughs> that, was, that was one thing I brought up before. It's just like, for some reason I love that line. You were like, the Magellan line! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guy's hands off. Now he has to shoot. rockets. Now he has to shoot dynamite. What a loser! You you think he would start with the dynamite? That seems to be the more <laughs> the more effective means of. It's death. like it's like Dragon Ball. It's like oh, big I, meaty claw. I didn't expect to have to use my final form. So I love anime. God damn, wonderful. There's nothing about Digimon. Just uh, let's go to your mega form first, then just step on them. Like, yeah. Don't go. <laughs> Don't, 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 don't even bother going champion first. Just fucking go to your Mega Evolution Death Ride. Mega Four. Did you miss? You got missed some gems. What to heck? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably good for this part. We yeah. can check out some midday garden levels next. Please join us next time on part twelve of Knuckles Chaotix. And don't remove your memory card till then. Burp. <laughs>